Okay, we're here with Kevin Paul at the Derby Tattoo Convention. Uh, Kevin Paul runs Seventh Day Tattoo in Derby. How's it going, mate? Going cool. It's been a good show. Been busy all weekend. This is your hometown, uh, your hometown gig, yeah. as, as, as it were. So, have you found it in a, as um, in regards to previous years? Um, I think it's been a good year. I think it's, it was, it's a really good show anyway. I mean, it's a good central show. So people from all over the place, it's a good central place for them to come to. Yeah, so from it's, Midlands it's, and, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's a neutral place, isn't it, really? Yeah. It's the Midlands, it's not too far for anyone. Yeah. Um, you get some good artists work here, here, so yeah, it's a good show. This is the one I generally make sure I do, because it's like my local one. Um, doing Doncaster this year. Um, I'm also doing Bloodstock, uh, the big rock festival. Oh. I'm doing VIP backstage, tattooing all the bands. Brilliant. Um, so that's quite a cool gig. Yeah. So yeah, we're doing that in about four weeks, I think. Yeah, your own shop, there's quite a few of you working there now. Yeah. They have, tell us a bit about the shop and, and how long it's been going and how it came about. Um, I mean, I set up the shop about two and a half years ago. Um, I set it up as um, a little shop in the back of a shop. Um, and it was just me just like doing my own little thing, doing like all realism, horror, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, but then my trainee, I started training him up, he come really good really quick. Um, so we ended up, he was getting really busy as well, so I just turned it into a full shop. Yeah. Um, so we just took it on as like a, a normal street shop really. I was just doing my custom work and he was doing all the walking. Yeah. He's now built himself up to be a, a really good tattooist in his own right. So yeah, I mean, he, he's doing really well. Now we've got another artist in who's doing all the walking stuff that he was now doing. So it, yeah, we've got a good thing going on. We've got a, a manager to run it all, who's also becoming a good talent in tattooing. She's done two tattoos, and they're both amazingly brilliant. So yeah, yeah. it's called Seventh Day Tattoo. It's basically a, a bit of a mockery out of religion. It's like horror, like gore kind of horror shop. Yeah. So it, in the name, it, it can go either way. It can either be a religious shop or an anti-religious. When you walk in, you see it's an anti-religious. Yeah. But you'd also assume that people are gory and horrible and all that kind of thing. But we're not. We're really nice. We listen to the, the biggest amount of crap on music-wise you've ever heard. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just a cool place to hang out, somewhere yeah. to have a laugh. It's somewhere, a good place to come and get tattooed then. Yeah, it's a good time. So how did you get into tattooing? Did you do an apprenticeship or did you...? No, I mean, I've been tattooed since I was 13. Nice. Um, I got into it when it weren't really a good job to do back then, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. that like early 90s kind of thing. Um, I kind of went to Dunstable and getting really fascinated by it all and I just really got fascinated at it and I was about rebelling when I was young as well, that probably had a part of it. So um, yeah, it was quite cool. And then um, I just slowly built up, built up over the years and just always done it. So I've been tattooing that for 18 years, I think, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably say that's five, I'm a bit any good, but right, right, yeah. but yeah, been doing it a long time. And so what keeps, so what now inspires you, since you've been in it such a long time, what keeps you kind of focused on inspiration and creativity? Trying to make it as realistic as possible. Yeah. Doing like horror-based stuff or shocking, it's the shock factor, I think, for me. Yeah. I like to create art that you don't look at it and think that's nice, that, like get a response. Right, Do you know what okay. I mean? That's it's, that's the thing for me. A little bit upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> to a lot, yeah. yeah okay. Pretty much, yeah. Great. Any plans to, plans to expand or plans to, to do anything more we're with all the shop? Yeah. Shops. Um, we're moving down to the high street um, in Derby, and we've got a really big shop. It's um, it used to be a hairdresser's, like a really posh hairdresser's, like at the centre. Yeah. Um, we're waiting for this to sort it out at the minute, but um, we're going really up market with a new shop. Um, we're going to do laser removal on an art gallery in there as well. We're really yeah. trying to pull a load of things in. It's like um, on the Friday before the show, we've had like Jairus and Jason Butcher, a load of other artists all come to the shop and do like a painting day. Yeah. Where they're all doing canvases and like teaching each other our techniques and stuff like that. Oh, cool. um, I'd like to keep that going to be honest and I'd like to get as many artists in there as we can all the time and yeah. keep building up a good friend base and get people linked together. But expand a little bit on uh, on paint day. Yeah. Yeah. So so what is that? Then you just get have like yeah. several artists. Or? Basically, we, we just went out for a meal one day, and there was on about before Derby. It'd be nice to do a few paintings or something. And then um, they've obviously been in America training with like Jeff Kogue and people like that yeah. doing painting. Um, so we just expanded on it a little bit, and they wanted somewhere to do it in Derby. That's someone to do it in my place. So we've just had like a lot of good artists come up and just randomly like come up with ideas to paint yeah. and then started painting and then they were showing each other how they paint, how to smooth things out, how to, all the different techniques that you can do yeah. just to help each other. I think there's too many people that uh, think they know everything when you never know any, everything. I mean, no matter how 
how long you've been tattooing or how long you've been an artist or whatever. Everyone's always got something to learn, do you know what I mean? And if you close yourself off to saying you, you know everything, then you'll never get any better, do you know what I mean? You, you've got to keep your mind open to learning things, do you know what I mean? That's what it was all about, really, just That's learning it. and taking a load in. Well, you don't, once, you, once you think you've, you've learned it all, maybe you, you're, it's impossible for you to actually exactly. learn you're never going to get any yeah. better, Ryan. Do you have plans? Is there any particular style, maybe, or anything particular, a facet of tattooing that you kind of look at, at this, you know, as what's going on presently, and think, that's really cool, I haven't done that, yeah. I really want to kind of kind like give that realism. a go? Kind of like realism, realism colour. Yeah. Um, I do it, and I think I do good job of it, but it scares me when I do it, do you know what I mean? Because I'm like black and grey, I'm 100% confident in what I'm doing with my black and grey, yeah. where colour, I know how to do it, but I, I know I have to think every second when I'm doing it. Yeah. So it's a good buzz to do it. The end result, you get a nice high from it, right, yeah. but the actual proceed of that day is very nerve-wracking to actually do it. Of course, yeah. But yeah, I'm trying to push a little bit more with my colour. Oh, okay. uh, just about your, your own tattoos, when did you get your first tattoo? Um, I had my first tattoo when I was 12 with Indian ink that I nicked from school with a needle. <laughs> you did it yourself, really? Yeah. And then um, my brother showed me how to build machines yourself, like a scale electric motor and stuff. Yeah. So um, I got a scale electric motor, um, a pen, a bit of wire, and we built a machine. And I used to tattoo people at school, I ended up getting expelled for that when I was like 14. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, of course, that's a don't try this at home uh, uh, scenario, right? Yeah, <laughs> nowadays I want to advise you to do it. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's quite ironic because, like, pretty much all I built was a rotary machine, and I've now, 18 years on, moved back to rotary machines. So yeah, yeah. I've now gone back to what I originally started off with. Just a lot better quality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, thanks very much for stopping by. Love Tattoo TV.